we want to use the integral test to determine if the following series converges or diverges. To apply the integral test, we first want to find a function f of x that is positive, decreasing, and continuous on the interval from one to infinity, such that f of n equals a sub n. Then, if this integral converges, then the infinite series converges, and if this integral diverges, then the infinite series also diverges. So going back to our example, looking at the formula for a sub n, we would let our function f of x be equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity three x minus one. Remember this function must be positive, decreasing, and continuous, which it is, but to verify this, we can always look at the graph to verify that it is positive, decreasing, and continuous. But before we integrate, let's change the form of our function. Let's first write this as one divided by the quantity three x minus one to the positive one half. And then let's write this as the quantity three x minus one to the negative one half. So now we'll integrate and we'll have the integral from one to infinity of the quantity three x minus one raised to the negative one half power integrated with respect to x. Here we have an improper integral, so we'll write this as the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from one to b of, again, the quantity three x minus one to the negative one half. We'll have to perform u substitution to integrate this. Let's show some work here on the side. If we let u equal three x minus one, then differential u equals three dx. So if we divide both sides by three, we would have one third du equals dx. So we'll have an extra factor of one third when integrating. If we write this in terms of u, we'd have the integral of u to the negative one half, but then since dx equals one third du, we'd have a one third here and then du. So if we found the antiderivative with respect to u, we would have one third times u to the negative one half plus one, that's positive one half, and then divided by one half is equivalent to multiplying by two, and then plus c. So we'd have two thirds u to the one half plus c. So in our case, when we find the antiderivative, we're gonna have the limit as b approaches infinity of the antiderivative would be two thirds, instead of u, we'd have the quantity three x minus one to the one half. So again, we'd have two thirds, the quantity three x minus one to the one half. Of course, we'll leave off the plus c. Let's go ahead and factor out the two thirds and write this as two thirds times the limit as b approaches infinity of, let's rewrite this as the square root of the quantity three x minus one. So now we have two thirds times the limit as b approaches infinity of, when x is b, we have the square root of three b minus one. When x is one, we'd have the square root of three minus one or the square root of two. Now as b approaches infinity, this is the only term affected by b. And since three b minus one, increases without bound as b approaches positive infinity, the square root of three b minus one also approaches positive infinity. And therefore this limit approaches positive infinity and so does two thirds times this limit, which means the integral diverges and so does our infinite series. So to summarize this, the integral from one to infinity of one divided by, let's write this as the square root of three x minus one integrated with respect to x diverges. So by the integral test, our infinite series also diverges. I hope you found this helpful.